Okay, in this video I want to show you how to uh, upgrade the memory uh, and or the, uh, the hard drive and an HP um, 15. Um, right now I'm making this video, it's uh, mid-2015. So this particular model, it's got Windows 8 on it. It's been made in the last uh, year, year or two. So if you recognize it, then uh, there's several different model numbers, and I'll put that in the description. And that's probably how you found this video. So if you recognize this video, if you recognize this laptop with the cover and the bottom with a real thin battery, uh, then most likely this will work for the upgrade. Now, <laughs> you would think that they would try to make it a little bit easier if you wanted to upgrade your RAM, but they don't. Uh, literally, you have to open up the laptop and to, to upgrade the RAM and literally take the logic board out the memory is pretty much on the bottom of the computer under the logic board so you have to take the keyboard out then you have to take then you have to take uh, the palm rest off and then you have to dis take the logic board out and then upgrade the um, RAM which is about a uh, if you've never done this before, give yourself a good 45 minutes to an hour to do it. Um, you know, it, is it worth doing? You know, I think what it is is the majority of these have four gigs in them, which is nice because it's it, they have like uh, one four gig chip, um, which I can show you here. They got one four gig chip of RAM in it, which of course these are, you know, these are valuable. So it's better than them HP putting two two gigs. So that so you're starting out with a good you know because you, what you do is you got one free slot memory slot to add whatever you want. Uh, on this particular model, I'm going to put a two just for demonstration. But um, you know you might as well put in another four. So so that would give you a, co a combined eight gigs of RAM. Um, and is it worth doing? I think it's worth doing because you know we're we're in a an age where you know being able to do things quickly and you know every little split second that you save in a day is well worth it because you spend so much time on a computer and and having more RAM will virtual memory will uh, make you uh, uh, more um, efficient all right so we'll start off it's pretty easy first thing you want to do is remove all this. Well, first thing you want to do is take the battery out. Um, on the the on your right side, you push that in completely, and then this is a spring, and you just push that spring in. All right, so that's your battery. Um, as you can see here, we got uh, a total. Of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. So you want to take all these screws out. One of the screws is holding in the uh, keyboard. This screw here is holding in the DVD player. So you can see I've taken the majority of them out just to make things a little bit quicker. Um, make sure I've got them all out. Looks like I did. And of course the screws, you know, that's what they look like. So you want to make sure you get them all out, and then once you take the DVD screw out right here, then the only thing you have to do is is just pull it. Just get your thumbnail in there and pull that out. All right, and then there's going to be two screws here that you gotta that you gotta take off, take out. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Alright, now, next thing we're going to do, okay, um, part of the disassembly of the back, uh, we discuss um, taking out all the screws, right? There's actually two screws hidden underneath the two uh, feet, one, two feet on the very back only. Um, there are no screws hidden underneath the, f underneath the front three feet, just the back. So what you're going to need to do 
is get your, get your f small flathead and you're going to pry open this foot. There's one. And then we're going to take the foot out of the second one. And of course we'll reapply that when we assemble it again. That's two. And as you're going to see there, there's a little hole there right here where you uh, take the screw out. You got to make sure you take these two screws out just like the others because you'll end up breaking your palm rest if you don't. Okay. Technically you can pop these off. I don't think you you really need to. This will actually pop off. Alright, it's a little bit tricky. I went ahead and started on it. But I'd recommend you getting a real thin flathead screwdriver. Now some people will use like a credit card um, or their license to do it. I think even something with a more of a, a, a sharp um, edge is better. Maybe even a steak knife or something. Um, and so basically what you're going to do is you're going to go around the edge. And you have to be a little bit forceful with it. You're not going to hurt it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your fingers and you're going to try to pry up. And then you're going to go up there. And there's like a little tab. You just, it'll pull it up. Then you gently lift a little bit. Looks like whoever had this laptop before was na a little bit nasty. See food and everything else in there. Um, and so you're going to see the ribbon that holds your keyboard. Uh, if for whatever reason you accidentally break your keyboard or you lose your battery, the best place I found to get parts is on eBay. The battery you could get you know the battery you could get for like 15 bucks on eBay as opposed to going to Best Buy and paying 80 keyboard you can get for probably 10 bucks um, so on this you're just gonna push up and it just pulls out alright so that's it alright so there's going to be some screws here that you're going to take apart and some ribbons. As you can see there, there's one ribbon here. You just push up on that. And then you're going to pull the ribbon out very gently. That, I think, connects to your mouse. And then this one connects to your power button. So you push up. I've got to take that plastic off first or the tape. All right, push up. And that pulls out. Now, you're going to undo one, two, three, four screws and all. And you'll know which one it is because it's got a little arrow there pointing to each one of them. And of course, you remember when you unscrew anything, it's always lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, right? One, Two. make laptops as durable as they used to um, which is complaint by a lot of people um, one reason that is is just because you know just to be on a budget they're trying to sell to more people you know that got three four hundred bucks but they also do that just to make them lighter weight too just like cars they're, they're making them lighter weight 
so you do you do get something that is lighter but you're compromising a little bit of quality for that as well all right so there you go there's the palm rest and of course that's the mouse all right this is what we got they put a generous 750 gig uh, hard drive in there which is pretty good so the next thing we got to do is take the hard drive out and then remove the logic board I cannot believe we have to remove the logic board to upgrade the RAM so if you need to upgrade the hard drive there you go you just do it here um, and so we'll go ahead and remove that now And of course, this is a, what you call a SATA hard drive. And that pulls out. And that's your caddy right here. You just undo these two screws. Alright, now next we're going to take the... Um, Okay, and then after removing the uh, hard drive, um, you want to go ahead and um, undo the uh, USB ports here. That should pop out. It's a little sticky right there. Next, um, these are your two speakers, so you're going to undo the pull out the uh, speaker right there and then next you want to do undo the VGA for your monitor and that pulls out so you're going to pull away from you alright and then next you want to undo your little Wi-Fi chip here Okay, put that to the side. All right, and then you're going to do. There's got. There's two screws holding in the motherboard, the logic board. One, two. One, two. Okay. Next, this should just pull out very gently. And uh, as you can see here. there's there's one slot and I was assuming that there was two and I was wrong so another brilliant design by HP right so let's see what we can do here nice so there you go it's four gigs um, so unfortunately we're not able to upgrade it um, with another 4 gig chip. They do make 8 gig chips. So there is an 8 gig chip, which I think I actually have, which I think I will use. Um, much more expensive. I know you can get the 4 gig chips on eBay used for like 20, 25 bucks if you look real hard. Um, this is very disappointing. But again, HP has really gone down in quality in the last decade. It used to be the best. Um, now I like Toshiba's still decent. Asus is good. 
Um, Dell, I think, is okay. I think they've gone down. Lenovo's okay. So I'm, right now I'm looking through my memory, and I know I got one that's got like an 8 gig chip on there. Again, you can get the 4 gigs for. You can get the 4 gigs for. That's a 1 gig. You can get the 4 gigs for 20, 25 bucks, the 2 gigs for around 10 bucks. 8 gigs, you might be able to get one for 50 bucks. I think it's worth it, again, for Speedwatt to, to be faster. I knew I got that chip somewhere. Anyways, I'm not going to sit here and bore you. Um, there it is, right there. There's an 8 gig chip. So that's what I want to upgrade it to. It's the only option. Or be stuck with a, a 4 gig. Um, so put that in there. <coughs> I bought this locally. Uh, from somebody and um, I noticed on here for HP 15 it says feature rich budget friendly I don't know budget friendly if that's a real good uh, uh, slogan for a computer company to put on there does it mean that you're getting less quality alright thanks for watching if you have any questions put it in the comment section thanks so much